Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about how Halo Infinite is on the up and up when it comes to content, fixes, updates, player population has stopped dropping, and we've seen a higher player count than previous seasons since launch, but something I see in my own comments and from other players and content creators is how if you are outside of the United States or North America, Halo is either irrelevant or unplayable. Recently, I saw a tweet from Bathrobe Spartan on Twitter or X talking about how longer queue time, sweatier matches for those EU slash European players, it's becoming increasingly harder to play outside of peak US time. In both its biggest EU Xbox market, UK and France, Halo Infinite is about to leave the top 50 of the most played games. That's no good. They also say that Halo Infinite has improved in retention, but it's not doing great in acquisition. If you're not in the community, you don't hear about it, meaning new players aren't going to be coming to the game. Bathrub also tweeted that, Having talked with data analysts in the know, Halo Infinite seems unable to acquire new players at a sufficient rate to sustain its online service, suffocating outside of the United States. Hopefully Season 5 can change that. If not, Halo Infinite might unfortunately be done for good in EU. This prompted me to tweet out or post, X post or whatever it's called now, and ask a question on my community page on YouTube, basically saying if you play outside of the US, what's the experience like and is Halo even relevant in your country? That being said, make sure you follow on Twitter and I know 96% of you who watch the videos on this channel are not subscribed. YouTube tells me this and we're trying to hit 15K. So like literally if just a couple, like if 2%, I don't know, of you, you know, subscribe to the channel, we're gonna hit that easy peasy. After tweeting that and posting it on my community page, I got a ton of responses. I'm not gonna go through every single one of them, but I do think that it would be helpful to highlight some of them and to kind of shed light on maybe what the actual issue is. One says that I'm French and Halo was very popular in my country at the time of Xbox 360, but since the one, it's a little more complicated, saying that people are much more PlayStation here. In Australia, you have to be patient when you wanna play Halo Infinite. Wait times are long and often time out. Quick play is your best bet for a game with the shortest wait time. And if you wanna play with a local connection, the weekend's your best bet. Another person said from Australia, the only game modes playable is quick play. A player from South Africa said that games, you know, only take about 15 seconds to find, but it's around 300 ping. Another Australian player says that there's decent wait times and that they have to team with Americans or Canadians to be able to play ranked in that 280 ping and unstable packet loss for more than half of the matches. A lot of these players from Australia seem to have a huge issue with playing the game, Mint Blitz. A massive Halo content creator has not been silent on the issues that he faces. I have a bunch of friends from the UK, across the pond and whatnot. One of them said, not gonna lie, I came back briefly, but I can't find lobbies on weeknights, kind of put me off of playing. Captain Charisma, a content creator for Halo, also said, it's a small community here in Asia. Historically, Xbox performed very poorly in this region. Regarding Infinite, everyone funnels into specific playlists like Quick Play in order to get fast game times in the evenings. Otherwise, it's challenging to find games. Another user said that Japan is dead for the game. The servers seem non-existent and 200 ping and ranked with one to two hour wait times. Pretty wild stuff. Now, to me, I think there is a lot to analyze on why Halo isn't a huge property outside of, say, North America, South America, and even the EU. Microsoft lost out big time in comparison to Sony in the more, you know, Asia, Pacific side of the world. Going back to the Xbox and Xbox 360, Halo has never been a huge force in those areas, even dating back to the Bungie days, although I was able to find that Halo 3 was the first time an Xbox exclusive game was number one in Japan. I'm not sure if this is due to just Halo not being pushed in these parts of the world. If, you know, Microsoft just kind of packed their bags and said it is what it is, there's just no point, there's no return on their investment by advertising and pushing the game out there. There's a lot more, I would say, popular games in that side of the world you know you have like Counter-Strike and Valorant and League of Legends like all these other games I feel like maybe the FPS market isn't as big outside of you know like North America and the EU but I'm seeing a lot of people saying that Halo isn't even that relevant in the EU anymore now we do have some HDS teams that are partnering you know Quadrant and Navi but it does feel like you know, it's very North American centric. Now, obviously, I can't just be like, hey, 
you know, 343, Microsoft, give us better servers and start pushing the game more. I do think that there's kind of a, a huge pause on marketing efforts for the game until it is like 150% ready to be marketed in a larger capacity again. You know, things with like Firefight and stuff like that. As the game gets more and more complete, I think we'll see a push eventually to get more players on the game outside of the US and outside of the EU. At least I hope so, because I do feel like by not showing people that the game is getting fixed and having updates and all that stuff, that it is hurting the game's overall health, especially outside of America. Now, I live in the US. It's hard for me to, I guess, quantify how bad it is. But if I do anything in this video, it's going to be asking you all to leave comments down below. I don't know if anybody from 343 watches my videos. I highly doubt it. But just like how I asked on Twitter and on the community page here, I want to know in the comments your experience with Halo. Do you live outside of the United States. Is Halo, you know, a really niche video game where you live? Is it even relevant? Do your friends play Halo Infinite at all? Let me know your problems. And then hopefully somebody from 343 might see it and be like, you know what, we do need to work on this. There seems to be a lot of passion. There's a lot of, you know, angst and there's that we need to make fixes. I think that it's a huge problem. You know, even as a content creator, you look at how relevant the game or whatever it is that you're covering and you're like, oh, I wish, you know, more people liked it or whatever. I wish more people were playing the game, more people were excited, more people were searching it up on YouTube. I think that Mint Blitz and a lot of other uh, content creators have done an amazing job in making like viral videos and getting people to be like, oh man, Halo is, looks cool. Maybe I'll re-download it. Because at this point, there's just not a lot of content to make. I won't lie, I really do miss the Warzone aspect aspect of Halo 5, especially before it was like super pay to win and just obnoxious with, you know, everybody having everything unlocked because it was fun to do challenges. It was fun to make content around that. And in Halo Infinite, I feel like I don't really have that opportunity. That being said, I do have a video coming out next week uh, that's a little bit more creative. I think that you all will like it. I hope that you all watch it. So keep an eye out for that. I am going on vacation for like 10 days. So I will ask that if you enjoyed this video and you want to, I guess, put it more into the algorithm, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I think that the only way that this issue is even going to be acknowledged is if you know, it starts to get more traction. And I kind of want to lend my platform to that. I know, like I said before, there's a lot of other content creators that talk about it. Mint does a great job. But I think it needs to be more of a widespread push from other content creators. So that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you made it this far in the video, I'm going to ask you to post in the comments in case you didn't want to post anything at all. Pikachu, because Pikachu is relevant, I think. Anyways, I will catch you all around the ring. Peace!